What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I've done a few videos in the past where I've explained what I've meal prepped and made a couple videos on like how I batch cook my meat and my carbs and stuff, but I've never done a full start to finish meal prep before. And honestly, if I did a full start to finish with cooking included, this would be like an hour long video. So I have the meat and the carbs and stuff prepped already. I just made those earlier. Um, and I figured I'd show you guys how I weigh my food and just how I put everything into individual containers. So food's cooked. I have my clean Tupperwares here. I'm gonna use some bags as well, but for now I'm gonna start with my lunch and dinner meals and I'll just kind of show you how I go about meal prepping, I guess. I'm not gonna give any exact measurements or calories that I'm eating just because I don't want people to look at me being a completely different height, weight, activity level, BMR, whatever, than me and think that they need to copy exactly what I'm doing because what I'm doing could very well be too much for you or it could be too little and you won't see the exact progress that I'm seeing with the amount of macros I'm at right now. I'm not gonna include calories, but I will just show you guys how I weigh everything out and have all of my meals prepped and ready to go for the whole week, including snacks. So let's get started. I really was trying to get the tripod situation worked out to where I could pick it up and show you and then also set it back down, but that didn't work and I'm having to use two tripods because my microphone doesn't fit on one tripod with my camera. I'm gonna try and fit everything into this frame right here. I'll just show you what I've prepped so far. So I have my 96 lean ground beef that I just prepped like five minutes ago. That's gonna be for my dinners. And then I also have chicken breasts that I cooked yesterday. I have done one video in the past about how I marinate the chicken and I have kind of switched it up a little bit. So if you guys want to see an updated recipe video, also if you want to see how I actually cook all of the things in this video, um, I could make a separate video just dedicated to the recipes for my meal preps. So if you wanna see that, give this video a like and I will try to get that out so you can make the exact foods that I'm putting in this meal prep today. Hit the like if you wanna see that video, but this is chicken breast that I actually cut up and cooked yesterday. I usually meal prep on Sundays, but on Saturday, if I have like an hour or so, I'll usually try to cook some of these beforehand so I won't have to worry about cooking and meal prepping everything in one go. Next, I have my white rice that I cooked earlier as well. I add some garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and dried parsley in this. It just adds some more flavor to it so it's not just plain bland rice. And I've mentioned this before, but I absolutely love onions and mushrooms. Sauteed onions and mushrooms are like my favorite thing in the whole world. I make them every week and I try to get them in every meal just for flavor, first of all, and it adds more volume for like no calories at all. And I'm gonna add these to my lunch and my dinners. If I have any leftover, I'll try and keep some to add to omelets that I make in the morning for breakfast. Um, I'm not gonna be prepping the omelets today because it varies on if it's a leg day or an upper body day, how many egg whites I get. But I will keep the remaining veggies for the rest of the week when I do make them the morning of. And then I also have some baby spinach for micronutrients. I really don't mind eating the same thing every day, so these meals are gonna look very similar. But there are a few different things that I add to each meal to kind of switch them up. And using different sauces helps a lot too. I just find that one, I don't mind eating the same thing every day. Two, it's so much easier to cook a ton of one thing instead of like trying to make a bunch of different meals separately, you know? I have my water that I'm gonna be sipping on. I have a podcast that I'm gonna play while I prep and I'll just kind of speed this up and show you how I get everything situated before I add things in. So, let's go. Okay, so the first meal I'm gonna do is lunch and that is going to be chicken breast, rice, spinach, and then avocado and six almonds. 
Again, I'm not gonna show exact measurements of everything, but I will show you just kind of my process on how I weigh things out. So let me get the almonds and then we will get to prepping the first meal. So this is the scale that I use. It's from Amazon. I'll link it below if you guys wanna use it as well. But it's got an on button on the side here. So it, when it turns on, if you hit the tear button again, it zeroes it out. So that means it's from that point on, whatever you put on it is the weight that your food's gonna be. I will put this on the scale here, hit the tear button, and then once it's at zero, I'll take out the amount that I need. Also setting the unit to ounces instead of grams for my protein. I should probably use a fork, but it's my food. I could touch it if I want to. But I take it out and that will tell me the negative amount that I take from the container is how much my food weighs. So once I hit the amount that I need, it'll be negative, but that's still three ounces of chicken. It'll be negative three ounces. That means you've taken out three ounces of chicken. I'm gonna tear it again so it's at zero. I'll do the same thing. Weigh out my chicken for that. And I'll repeat that process for all of the lunch meals. Okay, for the carbs, I'm going to do the same process using ounces because it's rice. Set it on here, hit the tear button, and now it's at zero. Can you see that? I hope you can see. And then I'm just gonna, oh, wait, we forgot the lid. Do it again, tear it. Once it's at zero, I'm gonna take a scoop of rice and once it gets to the amount that I need, I'll tear it again and move on to my next dish. Okay, protein and carbs are done. And then honestly, for the veggies, onions and mushrooms and spinach hardly have any calories. So I'm not gonna weigh them out. I'm just gonna go buy handfuls and like spoonfuls of things. So I'll just add a little bit to each of them. And then I'll add my almonds in there as well. I do also have avocado with this meal, but I will weigh that out before I eat it. I'm not gonna, avocado gets nasty real quick. So I'm just gonna leave that until I eat it on the day of, so. Let's add these things and we'll be done with our first meal. My battery is about to die, so I'm gonna go change that and then we will get started with meal number two. So I uh, underestimated the amount of rice I needed and still have two meals that don't have rice. I ran out, but I'm making some in the back. We'll just add that towards the end once it's finished. But I'm gonna move on to the meat now. Because this is a little heavy, I don't really wanna break my scale. So I'm gonna put each of these on the scale itself and weigh it. And that's, I guess that'll show you another way on how you can weigh your food out instead of setting things on here and doing the negative thing that I did. Set the container on the scale, tear it, and then add your food.
Okay, normally I'd wait for my rice to cool a little bit because it tends to weigh a little more once you just cook it right away and then serve it um, before you let the steam evaporate. So I'm just gonna add like 0 0.1, 0 0.2 ounces more than I normally would just in case. And I'm definitely not gonna set this on the scale because it's very hot. Okay, we're almost done. Um, everything else is weighed out. I'm just gonna add some coconut oil to this um, and use a spoon, tear it, scoop it out, put it in one, tear it again. And then we'll be done with the meals and then move on to the snacks, which are my favorite part. If you use a lot of coconut oil, Costco, this was like $15 and it's lasted me over a year. So go to Costco. Okay, meal two is down. I don't know why this is so satisfying to me, but I love it. It's one of my favorite parts of the week, honestly, because I could just put a podcast in or music and just jam out and kind of have my own alone time. And I get to cook and be productive and set myself up for the whole week at the same time. So we are done with both lunch and dinner meals. When I heat these up to eat them, I will add salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and the ranch seasoning if you guys don't know what that is you're missing out I have the spicy version right now um, and sometimes I don't really like the spice so I will add a little bit of this sometimes or I'll just add the normal ranch seasoning and it's literally like zero everything 100 milligrams of sodium one carb in a whole tablespoon so very good if you like ranch and you want to add more flavor to your meals I used this in my turkey burger, like air fryer turkey burger recipe, and it's so good, but I like to sprinkle it on top of my meals too. I'm gonna put these in the fridge, and then we will get on to prepping my snacks. And I will warn you, some of the servings look a little sad. <laughs> That's just what fits my macros right now. So I have pineapple for one snack, and berries for my breakfast that I'll weigh out as well. Um, I don't like to use a ton of plastic bags. I don't have a, enough individual containers to use for like such a small portion. So I use the snack size bags and I try to reuse them. So if I use one for the day, I'll keep it in the fridge in a stack so it doesn't get like gross and moldy. It just kind of stays in there. And I didn't need to use 15 new plastic bags. Let's do strawberries first. I have them prepped and washed already in these little reusable silicone containers. I actually posted on my story about these earlier today, but they're silicone reusable freezer safe bags are great for storing produce. And these are great because they don't break or crack um, in the freezer. So I've tried like stuff like this or like normal Tupperware containers and they always crack after a certain point of being in the freezer for so long. So these are great and they're also, they're BPA free. You can reuse them over and over and over. And they've lasted me like two years now, I think. But I'm gonna take these strawberries, cut the stem off. Oh, that one is gross. Cut the stem off, weigh it, and then put them in my individual bags. Strawberries are prepped for breakfast. The next snack is gonna be pineapple, rice cakes, a protein shake, and peanut butter. So I will weigh the peanut butter out once I eat it the day of, um, but I'll have this and this individually prepped so I could just grab it, saves me time, and saves me from eating an extra rice cake when I'm really hungry. I just like to have as many steps finished for me ahead of time so I don't have to think about it, but also keeps me from adding a sneaky little bite or scoop of something when I'm really hungry. So I'm gonna put each of these into a bag and then we'll lay out the rest of our pineapple. Also, if you guys wanna try these, the silicone reusable bags, I will put a link for these below too. You can get them on Amazon. This entire bag is broken. Okay, 
The last thing I'm gonna prep is my post-workout. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, you know I post about it all the time, but I have a protein shake and then I use that as the milk for my cereal. Um, and so I like to weigh everything out. This is one thing that I especially need to weigh out because after a workout, I am very hungry. It's really easy when you're hungry and especially pouring cereal to just pour a little bit more and be like, eh, I could get away with like a fourth of a cup extra. And it adds up calories. The cereal I chose this week is not Siri, cereal. This week I'm having peanut butter chocolate Cheerios. Cookie Crisp is also a favorite and Honey Nut Chex or peanut butter Chex are also a favorite, but I had those last week, so I'm switching it up. I need 30 carbs, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. Let me see actually. Cool, okay, so 45 grams of Cheerios is 30 carbs. I like to have a protein shake, 20 grams of protein, 20 to 30 grams of protein and 30 carbs at least after my workouts. So 30, gram, 30 grams of carbs worth of Cheerios. And I will put this on the scale, weigh out the Cheerios and then pour that into the bag because you can't sit a bag upright on the scale. <laughs> up the actual meal prepping part of it but I wanted to also tell you about like how my breakfast go because I didn't really prep a lot of breakfast stuff except for my berries so for the breakfast I only have two leg days a week and on leg days like I said in my last vlog I have pancakes instead of toast but I didn't really feel like making one pancake to show you guys, especially after cooking and trying to film everything so I will make that in the morning on the days that aren't leg days, I will have my berries, some toast, and coconut oil like you guys saw in the last vlog. And also, I have a choice of either yogurt for my with my berries and a protein shake or egg whites and make like an egg white omelet. So the days that I, which honestly, most days, I don't feel like cooking an omelet. So I will end up having my berries with yogurt and I'll show you what kind of yogurt I use. I did mention this in the last vlog if you watched it. Um, if not, I'll link it below because it kind of shows you like what all I eat and for every meal. Um, some things I don't prep, some things I make them the day of, like the omelet and stuff. I love this stuff. And I hadn't been able to eat Greek yogurt for a while. Like it would give me stomach aches, but for some reason, this amount and this kind doesn't hurt my stomach. The Too Good brand, there's two grams of sugar, 12 grams of protein, and like three carbs in it. And they have so many flavors. Um, they have peach, strawberry, and mango hibiscus. I haven't had this one before, but they also have vanilla, blueberry, mixed berry, coconut, which is really good. And they also have lemon. I'm not sure how I feel about that. That's what I have for my breakfast. So I'm not gonna prep my toast or anything. Like that's just something I make super quick, but everything else is gonna save me so much time. I just have to like grab it and go when I wanna eat um, throughout the week. So try to get 20 to 30 grams of protein with every meal. And I'm having five meals right now. Yeah, I also wanted to show you guys a condiment I've been loving. I found a very natural, minimally processed ketchup. I found by like process of elimination the last few weeks that I'm not very tolerant to sucralose specifically, but mostly all artificial sweeteners except stevia. So I, in order to add some flavor without adding more sucralose to my diet. I found this veggie ketchup by the True Made Foods brand. And honestly, I've seen this in pretty much every store in the ketchup aisle, um, but the ingredients are so good. It's only tomato puree, apple, vegetable puree, which is carrots and butternut squash, and then vinegar, salt, onion powder, and allspice. So I'll add this to my lunch and dinners as well, just to give it some flavor, or to my omelets. Yes, I eat ketchup with my eggs. Comment below if you like ketchup with your eggs or if you hate it because I feel like people either love it or they hate it. There's no in between. But yeah, this was my meal prep. I'm so glad I got all of this finished. Definitely not without a little bit of stress. My freaking battery died like 10 times, but hopefully you can't tell. Hopefully this helped answer some of your questions about meal prep and just kind of give you an idea of what 
my meal prep routine looks like. Comment below what you guys wanna see next. Hit the like button if you'd like me to make a recipe video, like I said, showing how I actually make all of my different meats and carbs and stuff that I made today. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.